Hey, good afternoon and welcome to EliteHealthOnline.com. My name is Clay and I have special guests with us today from Texas Star Farmer Pharmacy, Sadia. She is the lead compounding pharmacist there at Texas Star. Sadia, thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, excellent. Quick disclaimer. Um, everything we're going to talk about today is for educational purposes only. You need to visit with your provider or work with us at EliteHealthOnline.com for your HRT and wellness and anti-aging needs and um, get everything from a U.S.-based pharmacy written by a doctor. But uh, we have a great topic today uh, that is very, very popular. Um, many patients don't start off their HRT understanding the importance of uh, controlling estrogen as it as testosterone aromatizes to estrogen but um, there are really two things out there and more and more we're finding that um, there are different schools of thought Saudi we've done other videos on aromatase inhibitors and the importance of not suppressing estrogen too low that has dramatic effects on uh, sexual performance body aches and emotional aspects, letting it get too high can often be a problem as well. You have doctors that just say, let it run, uh, let, let estrogen run as high unless you're symptomatic with gynomastica or something else, then don't worry about estrogen blockers. You have others that are very much try to keep what we try to believe is stay between 20 and 50 on your estrogen levels as a man. Um, but there's, there's products out there that some providers just use an over the counter supplement called DIM. Um, but you actually have an interesting take that I want you to talk about today, and that is uh, combining uh, anastrozole, talk about what, it's, what it does and its role, um, but also DIM and its role and putting these together and how that could benefit and enhance the therapy when these are combined together as part of the um, HRT therapy. Yes, absolutely. So um, DIM, uh, diendolmethane, is, you know, it's a natural supplement. It's a botanical, you know, product. And the way DIM works um, is different from how anestrozole does. Anestrozole is, is a simple uh, aromatase inhibitor. So basically, it's preventing the conversion of testosterone into estrogen. So there is a complete block there. Um, versus DIM, uh, you know, yes, it can have some of the aromatase inhibitory effect, but its primary function is with the healthy metabolism of um, estrogens. Because, you know, how estrogen metabolizes in the body is very critical, um, definitely to a female body more than a male, because um, depending on the, you know, the type of liver enzymes are involved in breaking down estradiol to, you know, E1 and E3, you probably have heard all those, you know, E1, mm -hmm. E2, E3, uh, you know, names. Um, so when the body is metabolizing it uh, for it to excrete out of the system, there are a few things very important to know, whether it's a male patient or a female patient. Uh, we all want good estrogens, good estrogens, and their metabolites to stay in our body and to get rid of the bad estrogens. You know, what happens is when someone is on HRT therapy, uh, of course, they're going to continue to make some estrogens and now dim dim's role comes into place that by adding uh you know and making sure when estrogen is metabolizing in order to excrete out of the system uh, of the body is it converting into good estrogens or the bad estrogens bad estrogens are the ones that can actually have the potential um to change or cause dna mutation and lead the body towards cancer development in general, you know, uh, versus good estrogens are the ones that actually prevents any type of DNA mutation and helps body um, actually, you know, perform better because they have more estrogenic properties than the actual estrogen. So taking a small amount of DIM on daily or weekly or however the prescriber, you know, is wanting the patient to use actually um, helps body to make sure when estrogen is excreting out, it's metabolizing, it's metabolizing by keeping its, you know, healthy estrogens in a dominant form. So that, that's where DIMS role comes into place. So, uh, and then, and again, combining the two would be a good approach for sure, uh, because again, anestrozole is suppressing the formation, but again, 
it's suppressing about 50 to 60 percent of the estrogen right uh, formation other 40 percent is still you know converting into estrogens from the hrt therapy and then adding dim is actually giving a favor to the patient hey now we are routing your estrogen metabolism to make sure it's going towards the good estrogen side and I mean, if patients, and these days I'm very proud of, uh, you know, speaking to some of the patients, they're very knowledgeable. They know what good estrogens now, you know, what is two hydroxy estrogen or what is four and 16. They even don't know their numbers. So that is surprising, but also helps them by maintaining uh, glutathione level in the body at the healthier level also helps, uh, you know, good estrogens to th thrive and survive. Same thing. Uh, by consuming some uh, cruciferous vegetables, such as, you know, broccoli or uh, bok choy, you know, or cabbage and all of those Brussels sprouts actually helps with the formation of, you know, uh, those uh, good estrogens as well. So basically right. knowing, yeah, basically knowing, yes, we all need some estrogen, but also directing your body and helping your body to keep only, you know, our higher levels of good estrogens is very critical and long term. That's great. So suppressing estrogen too far in either direction or allowing it to run too far in either direction can lead to bone density issues, dementia, Absolutely. Um, overall, just things we're trying to avoid with HRT. So this is one of those things to not ignore and to make sure we're running frequent labs and EliteHealthOnline.com. We run these labs um, with good frequency as, as we should. Um, and then we constantly are adjusting the therapy based on how the patients not only looking at numbers but how they feel um, i think that's important to you know everyone's numbers can look different people feel different based on um, their own body so it's a combination of what your lab works looks looks like and how you're feeling so this is great information Sadia. anything else to add before we um let you run for today and thank you for your time yeah yeah, yeah absolutely all them uh, you know very important uh, aspect is you know uh, Combining DEM or, you know, an estrazole uh, to the HRD therapy is definitely a good way of managing healthy estrogen levels in the in the male's body. But also a very critical point to know, like, you know, aromatase activity is literally in um, fat cells. So lifestyle, especially the abdominal fat. So basically those patients who are, um, you know, thinking about starting the HRD therapy, they also have to keep it in mind that lifestyle modification is something that will be very critical to in order to see good results from, you know, from those hormone replacement therapies. Because again, um, you know, uh, hormones will help, but they will help up to a certain extent. And then after that is the right lifestyle and, you know, uh, exercise exactly. and healthy diet will definitely have a bigger uh, role. Great points, great points. Well, Sadia, thank you for being with us, folks. If you're um, looking for a clinic that can manage all of these uh, complexities with the expertise that's needed, we've been around for 11 plus years treating patients with um, complex uh, hormone deficiencies. Um, we're here to help you. Just visit us at EliteHealthOnline.com. We'll get your lab work, get you on the phone with a provider to do a telehealth appointment and get the appropriate medications prescribed and out the door. And uh, delivered directly to your door so thank you for being with us today Saudi, and we appreciate you thank you so much have a good day Bye -bye.